Hey, what's up my Koopa Troop, it's Koops, welcome to another episode of Plants vs. Zombies. Yo! Hey, check it out, man, you found a watering can! In honor of this occasion, I present you your very own Zen Garden! Oh, <laughs> wait, I even started you off with a couple of sprouts! Grow them to full size and they'll reward you nicely! Have fun! <laughs> so we can tap on the watering can to pick it up as it says, and you just water the stuff. It is about as exciting as that. And guess what, guys, it's not that exciting. I, I appreciate the simplicity of the Zen Garden. And it's a little bit different than the actual Plants vs. Zombies game, but there's nothing to do. I water plants, you feed them, they give you some money. That's about the extent of the game. <laughs> it's, uh, I, I mean, it's something. So, we need fertilizer to grow. Visit the shop to pick up some fertilizer, so we have to go to the shop now. Hey, welcome to the Zen Garden section of my shop. I'll, forget, I'll give you some fertilizer for stopping by. So, there we go. Take a look around and see if there's anything else you'd like. So, there we go. We can grab some other stuff. We can get a golden watering can, which does a set water several plants at once. Sure, why not? Who cares? We can buy a phonograph, like to play music for your Zen Garden, to keep them happy for an entire day. Sure, why not? And we can pick up the gardening glove, which lets you move the plants around. Sure, why not? Ah, now I'm crazy! You can also get the spray bottle, which bug spray from time to time. There we go. And we we just got some feed from him. Otherwise, we've actually bought most everything. Yes, we have. So, we're actually good to go right now. So we go continue. And now you can see we got some stuff at the top here. We'll go ahead and grab some feed for our plants. I guess it's fertilizer. I call it feed, but they're not really cattle or anything, are they? They're, they're plants. Go ahead. That's all you can do for now. Come back later when your plants need more nurturing. So yeah, every once in a while you stop back in, feed them, they grow them a little bit, and they actually grow and you can sell them for some nice profit. So we can go ahead and use our glove here and plant them over there. There's an easy way and see if you can use the new watering can that waters an area and water both of them there. They didn't need water though, so I just overwatered them and pissed them off, but that's all right. Let's continue. On to the, back to the regular. Plants vs. Zombies mode. Yeah, Zen Garden's pretty nifty, huh? You can visit any time from the main menu. But enough of that, it's time to defend your house, I have to warn you. You're gonna hate this next level. What? Because it's non-stop bungee zombie after bungee zombie. I hate those confounded bungees. I hate them. With a with passion, with a passion, and a vengeance. A whoop de doo Here those idiots come now. So we gotta be a little careful, guys. We got a bunch of bungee zombies coming in here. Here we go, let's rock and roll. Ready, set, plant! So the bungee zombies are going to jump down here and just drop some zombies on our head. There we go. Luckily for me, I have absolutely nothing to defend myself with. Thanks for the jack-o'-lantern and the pumpkin. I mean, whatever. Let's go ahead and plant that there. And I will use that guy to munch him up. Yum. Actually, I kind of planted a little bit messed up. I should have planted one more row forward. Or column forward, but either way, it's alright. We'll be, we'll be okay, I suppose. Let's see here, I have absolutely nothing really. I have one cherry bomb which will take out one of those guys. Cool stuff. Maybe if I get the timing right. Boom, you guys got pwned. That's what happens when you mess with me, man. You guys just got fooled. And I got fooled again because these zombies are coming out of nowhere, man. Nope, nope, none of that. I'm gonna build my row up here. That's just It just looks prettier to me that way. You're gonna get eaten because I don't like you. Oh, swallow that guy, come on, swallow that guy in time. Yeah, there you go, he's gone. Boom! That's what happens when you mess, man. So now we at least have a little bit of defense, we can barely call it that, I don't know. No, defend that, oh boy. Oh boy, there we go, I have to get rid of that guy like that. That's the only way I know possible. That guy's gonna swallow that guy pretty soon, which should work out in my favor, that should go there. Plant another zombie thing there. Ooh, we're gonna have a little bit of trouble in this one right, that one row right down there. As they start munch away on that thing still, yikes. I'm gonna have to plant this again in just a second. Well, he ate the one zombie that was like really killing it, but... I'll plant up there to defend that one. Here we go, I'll plant this behind it, this guy should reach forward and eat that. There we go, nicely done. This is what I'm gonna have to do, isn't it? Just this style right here. Plant him forward, or plant him behind and let him eat forward. So here we go, this guy there, eat that guy. Alright, now these guys are being real annoying, so I'm actually going to take all of you out just like that. There we go. That gets them off my ass for just a second, huh? Some of my uh, jack- or my pumpkins aren't looking so good. I call them jack-o'-lanterns because they're cut. Like, that would be that would be a jack-o'-lantern, right? I'm pretty sure that's right. But anyways, I'll, I'll just leave them for now because it's okay. As soon as they get- as soon as they're eaten up and gone completely, I'll replace them with a new one. 
I'll let that one go, it's fine. This guy's about to be eaten anyway, so not an issue there. There we go, now we get two lines. This actually is pretty difficult. We got a huge wave of zombies coming in. We don't have a whole lot to defend ourselves with. Bungie's incoming, so they're gonna come take my plants. Well, he's gonna take that up. Oh, he got eaten, that's pretty funny, actually. So they're gonna take all my pots away, which I really kind of pisses me off, huh? Like, I needed those. Well, those two zombies are gonna die. I actually have, I've been back ordered. So like, I mean, I've, I need to keep going because otherwise I've ran out of space here. So I need to plant that there. I have more jack-o'-lanterns. I need to go ahead and just probably use these up. In fact, I probably, I didn't want to do this. Well, at least it's going to be eaten in just a second. No, it's gone. Okay. That'll go there. I mean, this isn't a problem having extra lines of defense. I mean, that's a good thing. But, you know, you're trying to get the, trying to get the timing right on that. Alright, there we go. This goes there. I'll just start playing the second row. There we go. So now we got this double row going on. That's pretty cool. Oh, and that's going to get eaten. Oh, just got it in time. Nicely done. Here we go. This will go here. This will take out those three guys. Boom! Fix that problem. And this guy's going to get munched on, probably. No, I don't want you eating my, my plant up. That's not cool. That'll go out of that way. So there we go. We got a little bit of defense going on. Now, these guys up here being real annoying, so I'm going to take them all out. Stop, stop munching on my plants. I don't appreciate it, zombies. I do not appreciate it. Let's see here. Now I got another row right there. I'll do this one like that. There we go. There we go. We're not looking too shabby now. So it's okay if some of them get eaten because I got a secondary line of defense going on here. Like that. Now I don't appreciate you eating, so this guy's gonna just munch you up real fast. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. Nice and tasty. Woo! Still isn't easy by any means. This guy's gonna put a ladder right there and just get immediately taken out for it. Oh, that guy's gonna munch forward, take him out. Now I don't want you guys all going through here, so that's gonna oh, take that guy out. Wrong guy. And boom! Took those two guys out because they were they were making their way in. I didn't want them to eat all my stuff. That wouldn't be cool. All right, there goes those guys. It's funny how they just fly right down and get chewed on though. That kind of sucks. I have to, I feel a little bad for them. All right, here's what's gonna happen here, guys. This is what's gonna happen there. Boom! You guys can get taken out. That's what I like to see. Once one of these plants goes down, I'm going to replace them with a cherry bomb, and you guys are going to have a bad day. That's the, uh, that's the moral of this story. No, I don't want you eating that. I want that gone. Now they're going to eat that plant. That's fine real fast. As long as I get this cherry bomb down, boom, that's fine. That's all good and dandy. That's what I wanted to see. All right. So I got some backup things. We have a final wave of zombies coming in here. One huge wave. Take my stuff. I don't like. I don't like that either. Put that right there. Oh, yum, 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 yum. That was that was delicious. Here's what's gonna happen, zombies. You're all gonna die. That's what's gonna happen. See, now we're actually more than good. I'll just plant that right there. Boom. That's GG. Zombies lose. Looked tough, and it was relatively tough. You gotta make sure you plant them in the right spots. But if you do it right like that, you're gonna end up with a lot of pumpkins that look a little worse for wear. But otherwise, it went okay. You could stay way far to the back, but I, I tend to like to build a little bit more forward, give yourself some space in case some, a mess up happens, but otherwise, did really well. And guys, we just unlocked probably one of my favorite plants in the entire game, the garlic. Diverts zombies into under lanes. This is a strategic plant that when used correctly just opens up all these strategies. I love this plant, it gives me, it's so much fun. It just really opens up a whole new part of this game. So we're gonna be using that off in this ep in this uh, level here. Now we got we got a couple of zombies that look like they mean they mean business, which I'm not not too happy about. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple of strategies with the garlic, or not a couple, I guess a few every once in a while. But there's some really good ones that I really enjoy using, and I, you know it's uh, you'll see what I mean. Like I just I love the garlic. That really it's a it's a game changer for me. Now let's see here. How are we gonna make these zombies pay? I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna try throwing a Gatlin. We're gonna try going with the cabbage and the corn, all that, all that good stuff. We're all used to all that. Plant that down. Actually, whoa, what if we did something a little different? What if we got rid of these and did this? Ooh, 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 that could, that could work. That could work nicely, actually. Yeah, I think I can do that. Let's see here. Yeah, I think I can do this. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I need one of these. Ooh, I gotta get rid of one of you. Well, let's get rid of this. 
Yeah, we can do this. We can do this. This is this is gonna be tough. In fact, I'm thinking maybe not the wall. Maybe because we're gonna need the money. Yeah, we'll, we'll probably do this way. We're gonna need the money. This is gonna be a tough one, guys. Do not get me wrong. This is gonna be tough. Especially because I just realized I forgot any basic plants that would shoot like a squash. I don't have any of those. So I'm gonna have to kill these zombies the normal way, which is killing them with actual stuff. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. This will be a tough one. Indeed. Oh, okay. I'm, uh, I'm nervous for this, guys. This is, I, this, this will be pretty awesome if we can pull it off. Like I said, I gotta kill the zombies in the normal way, which means I do not have the good economy I've always liked, I always like to have, unfortunately. It's just not gonna happen this time around. But here's what is gonna happen. Bam, up there. Now, why would I place one up there? That is so far away, and it is. Bam. Done. That, this is, this is the strategy, guys. What does a garlic do? It makes a zombie move one way or another. Now, if it's placed in that corner right there, what's gonna happen to the zombies? They are gonna have to move one way or another. This guy is gonna move down. So they can move down or up from that lane right there in the middle. Guess what I've just essentially done? Well, you guys will see in a second if as soon as I can make enough money. I really need one more monies. I need my monies. There we go. Hopefully that guy gets killed in time. I, have to, I actually might have to stall him a little bit with some stuff. Because the butter won't do a whole lot of damage, unfortunately. Oh boy, alright. You're gonna get you're gonna get stalled. Oh, I planted that in the wrong category. Sweet, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Just joking. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of an issue here, I can already tell. This will be, this will be lots of fun. Just what I wanted just what I wanted to do. Okay. Well instead of that, that will be okay. Plant the second one there. Okay, we should be okay now. Alright. Like I said, you can see our economy is pretty crap right now, considering we don't have any economy. <laughs> we have we have three sunflower plants. But the good news is I've actually now got the setup going. I got the three garlics in the front, and with the three garlics in the middle, the top, and the bottom lane, guess what happens? I just funneled all of the zombies into two lanes. Yeah, that's what just happened. So you guys can maybe see the strategy going on here. With the zombies funneled into two lanes, what can I do in those two lanes? I could maybe put only attacking plants. I could put my sunflowers in the three lanes behind the garlic. Like this. Because guess what? These little, these little plants aren't going to, uh, the garlics are going to stop them. However, there is going to be one little problem to the, uh, to my solution I just presented to you guys, and I actually just kind of realized it myself while talking about it. There are going to be some zombies that are going to cause some issues for us, I think. I, I think that's going to actually happen. So, I might not be as, I'm, I'm pretty confident in this, in this strategy now, but I, it's going to be still some work. So here's what's also going to happen, which is going to be really cool here. Well, I say cool, and it's not like that cool, but first I got to get this economy going a little bit better. I am going to put a corn actually in the back rows there too for the little bit of error and judgment. Like I, I think there's a zombie that's going to like get past my garlic. I think there's one that, that gets thrown over and that will be a big problem to my plan because I would have no attacking plants in that row. That's the, that's the whole point of my strategy is not really having any attacking plants, really just focusing on these, these rows right here to have all my attacking plants. And speaking of that, I'm actually going to need another one right here because the zombies are making a good push forward here got a bunch of strong guys coming that way but here's gonna be the other part of my plan now I need really more money to make this work so unfortunately for me I need to slow down a little bit because I gotta get this money first we're gonna plant this here now this is not a strategy you would normally see I feel like this is a unique one but it will work nonetheless if my if if what I figured out is working is right this will work we're gonna now wake this guy up. Now he's in the wrong row, you're saying. Coops, you're stupid, he can't even attack. You are correct, he can't even attack where he's at currently. But this guy can. Oh yeah, baby. We have just defended ourselves. We have just defended ourselves. This is our, there he goes. Right there. Just like that. Oh yeah, this strategy is real. It is real and it is working. I am really happy right now because this is, this is gonna be tough. It was tough to pull off, and it's gonna work now. With the garlics doing all the work by moving the guys, forcing them into the uh, the two rows, now I can plant a row of guys in the middle here, which only job is to shoot sideways like that. Like they're just gonna, they're just gonna shoot sideways. 
and all these other guys are gonna sit at the bottom of the rows and throw corn at these guys. So they're gonna make them slow, and they're gonna sit here and take a ton of damage from this uh, from the gloom shroom as soon as it recharges right here. There it goes, bam, just like that. So now our gloom shroom is good to go, and unfortunately we got a zombie, a catapult zombie guy that actually attacks back. That was kind of the guy I was thinking of, but that's not the same. So I think we're gonna actually be okay. I might not have needed those corns in the last ones. But that doesn't matter. Either way, we're actually looking really good now. We've got a good set of defense. We got this plant looking good. We're actually starting to make money and come here. And then get rid of wake that guy up. Now what I like to do as well, guys, and I don't you maybe actually you wouldn't know this, but I plant a second garlic in these rows because the garlic does get munched on and it does disappear eventually. And I like to have it as a backup, also in case of a pole vault zombie comes around and really just wants to mess my day up or something. Now he can't, you know. Now he, he, pull, he pull vaults over and runs into another garlic and moves back over into the lanes like I planned him for him to. Anyways, pretty much you're just controlling the zombies. I make them do what I want them to do. And now with this strategy, I've won. This is how you win right here, guys. This, this game's over. These zombies are not going to make it anywhere. They have to walk down this row right here where all they're getting hit by is corn, which makes them stop, and my gloom shrooms, which are really overpowered when done with this strategy right here. This is why I love the gloom, sh gloom shroom with the onion, or the garlic, sorry. You put the garlics on the side, you put the gloom shrooms in the middle, also on the sides if you want to, and let them just do damage like this. You can see it's just wrecking, wrecking their, 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 poor, um, their poor team right here. They don't have much of a chance right now. Go ahead and plant another one right there. Well, you can see, guys, it's 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 done for. It's, <laughs> yeah, not not nothing's gonna happen. In fact, I got enough money now that I can actually plant another one of these on the side. And I'm gonna do it just for fun to really mess make their day a little bit worse. So I'll wake him up, and then I will gloom shroom him up, just like that. So now I got gloom shrooms on both sides, baby. That one's gotta be woken up, and then I gotta wait for him to recharge so I can plant another gloom shroom. But you can see now. Money's fine. These zombies are dying before they get anywhere. Look at this. This is crazy. See? They get frozen right there. The gloom trim takes them out. This is the fastest these zombies have died in quite some time. Uh, to make matters worse, I can actually just go ahead and plant these right here. And I can plant a normal uh, fume shroom here because it's going to shoot down. Remember what I said, how fume shroom shoot through zombies and not just hit the first one? See how the cabbages just hit the first one? Well, with the fume shroom here, just sitting here shooting at these guys... The, that one behind is getting hit too, you know? So like, a bunch of zombies right here in this front area right here are just getting pelted, just getting frozen by corn, moved into two lanes, so they have to go in these two lanes. Oh, here's the only issue with my with my plan with bungee guys coming in, but it's not gonna matter anyways. Oh, that guy rolled over my plan, that wasn't cool at all. Well, that's the other issue I guess with my, my plan. Otherwise, the zombies are dying extremely fast, as you guys can tell. This one guy's being a bit of a pain in the ass, but he's gonna die anyways. My gloom shroom will take him out, and there, we won. Just like that. This is this is where the strategy gets awesome. You use the garlic, you move the zombies around. I force the zombies to go where I want them to go. I put them in lanes, and they're forced into gloom shroom hell. Or any kind of hell. Like I can I like I said, you guys can see just a call a row of corn stopped them there, dead in their tracks. So Really great strategy. It makes me really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. It was a lot of fun for me. This was a really challenging strategy to make it work. It's really always hard to use mushrooms during the day, but we did it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time. Till then, take it easy. Peace.